um, from Buenos Aires, Argentina, on February 2, 2014. I am Otitibe Obadaya Oguerore Alegre, based in Buenos Aires, Argentina. I have been told that on Monday, February 3, 2014, a group of Urobo will stage a demonstration in Abuja to protest against the marginalization of Urobo people. I wish hereby to express my absolute moral and political support to them because they are protecting the interest of the land of our ancestors. We will rebels are a nation of the nobles. We were never conquered. We were never enslaved and did not participate in slavery. We are a peace-loving nation. We will rebel when in the front line of the campaign for the independence of Nigeria. Our own people shed blood for the unity of Nigeria. We deserve to be in the forefront of decision making in Nigeria. The marginalization of the robo in Nigeria today is a great injustice, reason for which we call on President Jonathan, whom our people voted for, to correct. We are the heart of the Niger Delta. A big part of our oil wealth of Nigeria come from the Robo Nation. We see Abuja, Lagos, and the project of the mega city of Lagos, all from the contribution of oil on the land of our ancestors. Yet, our people live in absolute poverty and cannot even have access to clean water no good roads. This injustice has been so for a very long time. We are now second class citizens of Nigeria by the way we are seeing it. We want to recover our place in Nigeria and in the forefront of the affairs of the nation. I on my part will add by calling on those holding Calvin of Kokori and his friends captive to release them with immediate effect. Their continued arrest is a violation of the fundamental right of the citizen of Nigeria to live freely in his homeland. If there be any offense counted against them, they should be taken to the court and be given lawyers to defend them. It is wrong in a democratic government for military to partake in civil crisis. It is wrong for soldiers to maltreat the people they were trained and paid to protect. I call on the withdrawal of military presence in Kokori and other parts of Roboland. I call for an end to occupation forces in any part of Roboland. In fact, in Nigeria, all armed forces should be withdrawn to the barracks and must not take part in internal crisis because Nigeria is a democracy. I will end by expressing my sadness and sorrow and disappointment for the silence of the robo leadership and the traditional rulers in the face of the marginalization of the robo nation while they live in comfort. I call on the UPU to go for the rescue of Kevin of Kokori and friends. I also call on all robo youths not to take up arms against the government because the enemies of Africa will seize the opportunity to start a war while they loot our resources as they did in Liberia and Syria alone. The greatest weapon in democracy is your vote. Do not sell your vote. Only slaves sell their vote. 
the people are sovereign, and the sovereignty of the people is shown through their vote. As things are in Nigeria today, where the only ideology of the political parties is grabbing power, I recommend that you not vote based on the political party, but for the candidate that would fight for you in Abuja and Asaba. I even go a step further by saying, do not vote based on tribal ethnic background. Vote for the person that will bring social justice to the rebel land. Keep the flag flying, long live the land of our ancestors. Thank <laughs> you.